In this video, we will learn how you can create a Google form and send the form link on WhatsApp. Now, let's say you have created a Google form and you have maintained all the details, contact details of your students in Google Sheets. Now, you want to send the form link to your students in Google Sheets via WhatsApp. So, we are going to automate this entire process using Pabbly Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To create online admission form and send the link via WhatsApp, let us first go to Pabbly's website. You can see the landing page of Pabbly. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabbly Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Google Forms to WhatsApp. Create. Now it will show you two windows here, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps trigger and action. So let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed An action can be add the order details in a Google Sheet. So let us begin. For the trigger application, we will first select schedule. So now it will ask you how often you would want to run your workflow. So we will say, let's say once. You can set as per your requirement. I will set once. You can set the date and time here. So let me select Sunday and the time remains 7.30. Okay. Now you can see the time will be based on your account time zone. For us here, since this is India, for us it is Asia Kolkata. So let us save. And now it has given the response that your workflow will run once at this date and time. Okay. So the next application, before we move on to the next step, let us first go to Google Forms and let's see how we create one. So you can access it from your Gmail account. You will click here, scroll and you can see Google Forms here. So I've already opened it in tab. It looks like this. So to start a new form, we will just click on blank. Now here, let us save it. I just want to save it saying admission online. All right. Here you can change the title. I am going to keep it as student admission form. All right. If you wish to give any description. So for the first question, I would want students full name. Okay. Let me mention here. Students, full name. All right. I'll click on the plus button. Then I will write just email. Email. So, yes, you will see it is automatically changed from multiple choice to short answer format. Again, we will now write contact number. Okay. Again, we will click on plus button and you will you can write uh, whatever question you want. So here, let us just write the courses. The, let's say you will be offering master's courses and this would be a multiple choice question. Okay, let me select this. Okay, I'll select here multiple choice since I want to offer options to my students. So let's say... The first option is digital marketing. Add other. Here, let's say it's business administration. Okay. So, for now, we are just keeping it two options. If you wish to add more, you can just click on add option. Now, again, here on the right hand side, add on plus button to add more questions. Okay, here I will write education qualification of the student. Okay. 
here it would be short answer then I'll add on a plus button again would write residential sorry residential address again it would be a short answer here in the last I will just click on the required button and you will see a form is ready if you wish to add more details you can just um, click on the plus button here and add more questions all right so now coming to responses you will see a google sheet icon just click there create a new sp new spreadsheet so you will see it has created all the fields that we had in our form like student's name email contact number the course they will opt for education qualification and residential address so what will happen is whenever a student will fill the form we receive the response the response will be captured here the response will be saved here in our google sheet so that you can have a record now again let us go back to google forms questions here you can just preview it and it is ready like you can see so now okay so now the form is ready we have set the schedule when we have to send the form now i'll show you the student list in this google sheet i have i also have another google sheet with the name students list where i have maintained their name contact d so what i want is i want to send the this google form that i had created the admission form i want to send this form to these students on their whatsapp number so now let us come back to pabdi add an action step and select google sheets okay for the action event we will select rows get rows because it retrieves rows from the sheet based on the specified range okay so we want all this data all the data here the name contact email of the students here in pabli and therefore we selected get rows as an action event add new connection i will select my account since i was already logged into my gmail account i will not have to give my credentials okay it's loading now you will see here in the select spreadsheet it has auto fetched all the spreadsheets that i had made in my gmail account so i want student list spreadsheet i want rows from this spreadsheet to come here you can see student list i want rows from here from this spreadsheet in pabli so now i will enter range range of the sheet like example they have given a2 is to d5 so now what i want i want data of my google sheet right from here till here so i want data from a2 is to c4 till here that is i want data from here a2 till c4 till last till here so i will give the range a2 is to c4 all right now what we will do is we will just turn off this simple response click on save and send test request and you will see we have received the response you can see the student's name the contact number email the second student's name here abc testing their contact and their email then the third student's name that is dummy their contact you can see this data is in unstructured form and thus it is difficult to read so now what we will do is we will add an action step select iterator is an action and what we will do is here like you see response result is already coming here response result is this so what it will do is iterator will segregate the data name wise row wise let me just click on save and send test request now you can see it has segregated the data so what iterator has done is it has converted the 
data from array format from this mixed format to row format. Now it is giving us data row wise like you can see students name, the students contact number, email address like this in this format individually it is showing. Now what will happen is once we add a WhatsApp step, so iterator will pick first contact from the Google Sheet that is this XYZ demo, it will pick this contact from the Google Sheet, send the WhatsApp message, then will come back to the second row to ABC testing, will again send the WhatsApp message to this number. Then after the task is done, now it will come back to third row that is dummy. Then it will send the WhatsApp message to this number and the loop will continue till the last contact in your sheet. Okay, so now let us just click on action step and add WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, the final step for the action event, we will select send template message, connect the two, add new connection. All right, here it will ask you for a few details like token, phone number, ID and WhatsApp business account ID. For that, let us go to developers page. Okay, let me reload. All right, here you can see on the left hand side, you will see WhatsApp getting started. Okay, now you will see temporary access token right at the top. Just copy it. Come back to Pabli and paste it. Now again, we'll go to developers. Okay, you can see a warning here. The token will expire in 23 hours since this is just a temporary access token. And once this expires, your workflow will stop running. So don't worry, we also have a full video on YouTube regarding how you can generate a permanent access token. So you can watch that video. You will find the link of that video in the description box. Okay. Now scroll down and you will see phone number ID. Let us just copy this. Come back to Pabli and paste it. Again, we will right next to phone number ID, you will see WhatsApp business account ID. Let us copy this. Come back to Pabli and paste. Save it. All right, you will see it's connected. Here we will have to give our template. So I had prepared or template form link send I'll show you so now I'll take you to this template so this is my template you can see here hello dummy demo here you can see field one is given so what will happen the name of the person will come who we are sending this message to please fill the below admission link form link that is to the form the google form that we had created its link will come here and so this message basically this template message would be sent to our students okay so we have selected the template name now scroll down we will map recipient phone number so that that we are going to take from iterator let us just take it from here now we will take name again we'll go to iterator we'll take the name now it needs what it needs is is your form link so for that what we will do is we will go to our here it is and on the top right you will see a send button just click there if you want to send it via message you can do it from here we want to send it in a link way okay we'll click on the link here you can take this URL but we would like to shorten it for easy read we will just take this box so it is short in the URL just copy it from here. Now come back to your workflow in Pabli and simply paste the link. And now let us just save and send test request. Okay, it says response received. Now let us go to our WhatsApp message to, to the WhatsApp number of this student name XYZ demo and see if they have received any such message. Okay. Let's see. So this is the XYZ demos account, WhatsApp account. And you will see they have received the message. Hello, XYZ demo. This was the field that we had mapped in. Then you will see the form link. Let us click and see. 
ओके स्टूडेंट एडमिशन फॉर्म दे हैव रिसीव्ड द फॉर्म यू कैन सी एंड नाउ ओके सो यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस दैट वी मैप्ड इन दीज डिटेल्स राइट फ्रॉम द रिस्पॉन्स हियर फ्रॉम द इटरेटर सो द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट मैपिंग इज वंस वी हैव मैप्ड इन दीज डिटेल्स दीज बॉक्सिस विल automatically be updated again so what will happen is when next time after sending a message to this number when iterator moves to the second name to this number so this person's name and contact number will be mapped in the in these fields automatically and you will not have to do it again similarly when after sending message to the abc testing to the second person when iterator moves to third person that is dummy dummy's name and contact number will be again mapped in here automatically and you will not have to do it manually i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com